Hey guys, Striker5570. Um, so I'm making this video only a few hours after my last upload, and uh, as you can see, the printer is printing for the first time ever. This is a pretty awesome moment right now. Uh, I've put months of work into this, and I uh, just finally sat down one day and just sat down today actually and got just finished it because it needed to happen. Um, right now everything's sort of just set up just so I can, you know, get the printer working. But, um, like, there's obviously needs to be a bunch of cable management done and whatnot. Uh, I actually took off the heated bed. In my last video I had the heated bed um, on the bottom. I took that off so I could have a little more spring space here to adjust the bed um, so it could be level. Um, also talking about the bed, um, this is a uh, eighth inch piece of aluminum, um, and I might ditch this. Um, we'll see. Uh, just because it doesn't v sit very flat, it's flat enough for printing purposes. But I don't know if you can tell, but it has a little bit of flex to it. Um, um, but. The speed that this is printing at right now is by no means the uh, <laughs> the max speed that this thing would be able to reach. I'm hoping to be able to print 100 millimeters a second with decent quality. Um, that's that's my goal here, um, but we will see. So I'm gonna see how this print turns out and uh, just just let it run through its paces, um, and I'll let you guys see how it is at the end. All right, um, here we go. This is the very first print off of here, and as you can see, it didn't finish because the spool got tangled and it jammed. So that's okay, um, because the very first print, this turned out pretty nice. Um, I didn't really have the, um, the parameters set quite right, so you have a lot of this bubbling right here because it was going too fast and it was trying to cross over the infill. Um, but that's a that's a parameter issue. I know that for a fact because if I look up here at the top of the helmet, if I can get the focus here. Focus, focus, focus. You can see this is beautiful up here um, it's pretty much flawless on the back of this helmet right here um, so I know this printer is very capable of producing high quality results and that was the point of the first print um, I didn't want to print just a box or something the very first print I wanted to print something a little interesting so it's this Stormtrooper Buddha that I I think is pretty cool um, but uh, the, f the quality and the layer stacking on this helmet is just unheard of, it's far surpassing the 2-up. Just the 2-up could never stack um, layers like that. I just need this to focus again. But uh, it it works. Um, after all this hard work working on this printer the past few months, uh, it's finally paid off. I have a print. Um, this won't be the end of the series. I will, um, of course, be managing all the wires and um, Fixing, uh, making it all look nice and pretty, essentially, and uh, calibrating it um, to print really nice. And I will get the heated bed put back on here. So, sorry about that. My uh, video died, um, but I just want to say uh, thank you guys for those of you who have been following my last few videos. Um, and I know you guys are building a, some Seabots of your own. Um, so, the Seabot is very capable of producing 
excellent quality, and uh, I can't wait to see what you guys are doing as well. Um, and uh, I will keep uploading videos as my quality improves. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.